Hey everyone, welcome to Be Live tutorial on how to create a talk show broadcast. Once you are on BeLive.tv, you will press Start Broadcasting and select Talk Show Mode. You will see this window. You can broadcast to your own timeline, a page or a group that you manage, or you can create a testing only broadcast that won't be posted. You can also share some text in the post of your broadcast. It is also possible to create a scheduled broadcast to select the date and time when you want to go live and add an image. You can send the details of the broadcast to your email or messenger. And do not forget to add branding if you need it. Ok, ready? Press Create Broadcast. Now we are in the broadcast studio. If you're broadcasting for the first time, please read these instructions carefully. Ok, now what can you do here? Well, you can share photos from your Facebook albums. For example, this one. You can also share the desktop screen. You will be able to share the entire screen, application window or Chrome tab. And you can also use the agenda feature. You can create a new agenda or use a saved one. And you will show and hide items by pressing the buttons. You can also add a CTA item. To hide the agenda, just press the Agenda button again. You can also have on-screen updates which are not saved as agenda items. Once you hide it, it disappears. You can also show comments on the screen. And do not forget to hide them once you don't need it. Ok, now it's time to add yourself. If you want to select a certain camera or microphone, you will go to the settings. You will see here yourself and also the sound wave that indicates that your mic is working. You can select different web cameras, uh, microphones and speakers if you have them. And also you can select different resolutions for the camera. We suggest picking a lower one to ensure that the quality of your broadcast is good. But feel free to experiment and see which one works for you best. When you're ready, save changes and connect your camera. And add yourself to the broadcast. Ok, now you are on the broadcast. But you probably want to have your guests connected, right? To do that, click this copy link button here. Once the link is copied, you can send it to your guests via email, messenger, whatsapp, etc. When your guest connects, they will appear in the lobby. Beware that there's no sound in there so you won't be able to hear them. What you can do instead, you can communicate via the team chat. If you want to hear your guest and have them on the screen, you will have to add them to the broadcast section. Your guest will be notified about this. Ok, now you're both on the screen. You can now select different layouts of the broadcast. Also, you can show the name of the guest as well as yours on the screen. And you can edit the name by pressing on it. You can mute your guest or yourself if needed, or select solo to show just your guest. Now let's see how the layouts change when we have three items on the screen. You now have many more layouts and you can choose whichever you need. If you add a fourth item, the layouts will change. You can show one of the items at the main one. Ok, now it is time to go live. You will press Start Broadcast and confirm it. You will see the countdown before being live. And boom, you're live! You will see this indication in here. Here you will see the number of viewers and the number of live reactions as well as comments. And once your broadcast is finished, press End Broadcast and confirm it. You can now rate the experience and tell us how you liked it. And of course, you will be able to join the BeLivers community. Once the broadcast is ended, 
you will see this indication here. You cannot start the ended broadcast all over again. And that was it. If you have any questions, please contact us via email or messenger.